All right, guys, Jesse here for Gold Tech. All right, today we have the Gold Claw versus the Turbo Pan. I have two sizes of Turbo Pan today, but because of the size, I think it's only fair to go the small Turbo against the Gold Claw. Because the big Turbo Pan just holds a lot more than the Gold Claw. So what I'll do later is do a test with the big turbo pan against just a regular gold pan but that'll be a future test now today we have three pieces of gold that I picked out one good size little picker you can see here and two smaller pieces one is a, a wire wire gold so those three will be our tests see who can recover and I think speed is probably one of the fastest things, or one of the biggest things we're looking for here. So I'm going to hand off the camera to my wife. And we're going to start with the gold claw first. The way I'm going to do this, I already have a catch pan in my basin. So I'm going to put a predetermined amount of dirt that I don't believe has any gold. If it is, it's really fine. You wouldn't be able to see it on the camera anyway. And I'm going to dump my gold right on top. Then I'm going to mix it up. So that gold goes down to the bottom. I'm going to clean my hand off. Make sure nothing stuck to it. Dirt under my nails, hopefully that ain't gold. And then just classify like you would a normal pan. Now the gold claw, I say keep it in the water the whole time. Now they show two-handed technique on the videos and Maybe the first part of it, I like that. Get some of the, some of the bulk out of there. And I personally like to switch to a one-handed technique. That's just how I pan. It's the way I do it. And I found that it works pretty good. The gold claw. Sounds like I can hear that first picker in there rolling around. Now you almost get completely vertical when you're using the gold claw. And then you bring it back around, submerge it, and get all your fines off the top there, your black sand. It's probably a better technique. This is what I've come up with, it works. You spin it around, reclassify everything, and then you can see these smaller ridges here in the front. Pull it back there a little bit, and those will get rid of all the smaller rocks that just didn't want to go over the top of those big riffles. See them walk on over. Hopefully, we have our gold. A lot of black sand. Now, down here on the very end, it's hard to see right now. Let me get this water out of here. They'll show up on the camera, but there are some real fine ridges right here. You can see the black sand's kind of hung on, onto. And that's your, your finishing riffles. They're very tiny, but they do work. And there's all three pieces of gold. 
Okay, so now we'll reset. Get a good picture of that. And we'll go to the... Okay, so now we'll go to the small turbo fan. Same amount of dirt. Now, just gonna roll this all into there. I saw all three slide off in there. I don't know if you can see on the camera. Now they're on top. So same thing. I'm just going to mix it all up in there. Drag them down to the bottom. I'm going to wash my hand off. Hopefully nothing's stuck to it. Out from under my nails. Okay, now, just got to stratify. Everything just kind of walks off the edge. Now on the turbo pan, you do have riffles along this edge. Once you get start getting rid of your bigger stuff, you want to have those away from you. Supposed to concentrate all that gold down into the middle of the pan. And so we push everything out over the top. And then, once you get that down, you can stratify everything again. Now, if everything went right, all the gold should be in the middle. I can just roll all of this off. She's in the front of the pan. If anything did get out of the hole, I should be ca catching it in those riffles. So it looks like you got a, at least the big picker is in the center. I don't know what all is going to be in there. Let me. Okay, so we got. Okay, there's the big picker. Set it there. Yeah, it looks like both of the smaller ones are in there. So, slow the picker back in there and get a picture of that. Let me roll that back over there. Kind of hard, the thing's pretty round, so it likes to roll away. Okay, so there it is. Gold Claw versus the Turbo Pan. I can't decide, I like them both. Um, I'd say, you have to make your own decision because it's too close to call for me. All right guys, thanks a lot, thanks for watching. Remember to Subscribe, like, and share our videos. All right, thank you. Bye.